Alive? I'm alive? This is awesome. Welcome, zero people. Mmm, oh, Coke Zero. Nothing but the best, nothing but the best. Okay, Pete here for Do You Even Blog Live. Thank you for tuning in. If you are watching this replay uh, later on, what I want to do, I guess I should remove the starting the stream soon. There we go. What I want to do today is two things. One, I want to share uh, some like previews of everything I'm going to be doing to launch two products. One in about 10 days and the other one on June 1st this year. Two different products. I'm going to walk through my like sales process, how I've like done this in the past or whatnot. And I actually, in the process of prepping for this live, I actually created a PDF, uh, which you can download for free, like no, no email address required even. There it is. Pete's product playbook, the sales checklist. I, I got a little carried away. <laughs> and so I ended up like redoing it and making it nice and neat. And by nice and neat, I mean, everything's hand drawn. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, you can, you should be able to see the link now. If you are watching this live stream, I think it's bit.ly slash Pete sales checklist. Yeah, that's it. Bit.ly slash Pete sales checklist. So I'm going to go over that and show you what I'm, how I'm going to be implementing that. I'm going to go over the checklist and show you how I'm going to be implementing said checklist. So I am, uh, I'm going to start in like one minute. Give me just like 60 seconds. If you're watching this on the replay, you can skip ahead. If you're not watching this on the replay and you're now, you're, you're, you're here now, I want you to drop me your emoji and chat. Any emoji that sums up how you're feeling today. It's Friday. April 3rd, when I'm recording this live. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, uh, El, Eliad. Eliad Florian. How do we pronounce your name, brother? Give me the, give me the good stuff. Eliad. Welcome. Uh, I hope I say that correctly. If not, please let me know in chat. I'm going to start here in about 30 seconds, uh, and then we're going to dive into this. It's going to be fun. Bit.ly slash Pete sales checklist. Again, it's not even an opt-in. You don't need to give me your email address. It's 100% free. Uh, you can go check that out. My cat, I wish I, I wish you guys could see this, but you can't. My cat's trying to escape. I'm going to let her out. Bye, Kelly. See you later. Have a good one. Oh, wait, hang on. So I broke off the doorknob to my current room. So I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to get out. It, the door is currently shut, but the doorknob broke. Anyways. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off here. Elliot? Elliot? I'm going to go with Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. Okay, brother. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to share my screen. I'm just going to go over, first of all, just this. The checklist. Again, you can see the URL there. You can grab it for free. Uh, what's up, Forrest? Welcome, my friend. So, I'm going to go over this and show you how I'm applying this at the moment. But I want to start with phase one. Homework, as in you have a product, this applies to affiliate products, your own products, a small like $19 thing you're selling with your blog or like a $700 course. Honest to goodness, I think this applies to everything. I think there are two broad phases. Actually, there are three. Number one is to have the product, but we're not gonna talk about that. I wanna talk about the marketing and sales part of it. So yeah, phase zero, have product, which is a whole nother like YouTube live in and of itself. But there you go. Phase two would be to do your homework that's going to allow you to effectively sell said product. Again, your, your product, affiliate product, doesn't matter. So phase one, the homework. Aspirational identity, happy ending, and like problem challenges, and the plan. I stole all of this from a book. It's called Story Brand. I think I actually have it here. Uh, yep, there it is. Story Brand, Donald Miller. It's a great book. I completely stole everything you just saw from that. But here's what these mean. The homework phase, you need to identify who you're selling to, what they want, what problems they currently have. And then you need to be able to explain explicitly in words on your sales emails. Sorry, I had to move my mic. Exactly what the plan is. Aspirational identity, a happy ending as in, what's, what are your, what does your audience want? The people who would buy said product, what do they want? What are their desires? What's the happy ending on their journey? And what's the monster? What's the enemy? What's the thing keeping them from getting there? For example, I'm going to be launching PodCourse June 1. 
what do people want? They don't actually want a podcast. What do they really want? What's the happy ending behind the podcast? They want to expand their audience, to broaden their reach, to make more money in their overall business through podcasting, a new channel. Podcasting is only a means to an end. What they really want is to grow their business and grow their audience, grow their reach. So I had to know that. This is done in the homework phase. Uh, same thing with the monster, the problem. What are the challenges? And again, I'm going to show you more examples of this later on when we get down here to the checklist. But okay, so in my case, pod course, what do people want? They want to grow their reach and they want to grow their money through podcasting. What are the challenges? Well, podcasting is a little bit technical. They may not know audio. They may not have the first clue about how to get into Apple Podcasts and then Spotify and then how to get found in Google Podcasts and all this other stuff, how to run successful interviews. How do I actually sound good on a microphone? What microphone do I need? There's a large knowledge gap. That's one of the monsters for me selling podcasts. It's a knowledge gap. I don't know how to do this. Another one would be, I don't actually know if I can do this. I don't know if I can be a stay-at-home mom. I don't know if I can quit my job. I don't know if I can meal prep. I don't know if I have the time to do any of that stuff. I don't know if I can be a good podcaster, all that sort of stuff. There's lots of like internal struggles, internal challenges, and frustrations. You need to define those in your homework phase. By the way, just a little tidbit here. I 1,000% believe that everything I'm telling you right now you could also use for like selling encyclopedias on somebody's doorstep. Or if you work in sales, I'm pretty sure all of this is 100% applicable. Launching a huge course, launching a $19 ebook, uh, selling affiliate products, everything. I seriously, seriously, seriously think everything I'm covering right now applies to all of that. Selling pretty much anything. But of course, I'm adapting to my own stuff, quite frankly. So... Uh, people really want to broaden their reach. They might think podcasting is a great way to do it, which hint, hint, it is, in my opinion. So that's a happy ending. Their challenges are a knowledge gap. They don't know how to podcast. They don't know how to edit audio. They don't know how to get on Apple Podcasts, all that stuff. And an internal challenge, an internal monster, an internal enemy. I actually don't know if I can sound good on a microphone. I don't know if I can be a podcast interview. I don't think I can. I don't think I have what it takes. Uh, so the plan, I don't mean your plan for launching a product. I mean, your plan for helping your customer defeat said monster. Again, this is straight out of Building a Story Brand, which I shared a minute ago. It's a great book. You should go check it out. A lot more so than this YouTube Live. Uh, but what's the plan? Buy my product. You'll do this, and then you'll do this. Like, literally be able to tell people that. First, you sign up for PodCourse. Second, I give you instant access to 100% of your course content. Third, you start off in lesson one, step by step, until you have a successful podcast. What is the plan that your customers need to hear? The last two parts of the phase one, the homework phase, before you actually you know, sell said product or affiliate product or whatever, build the value. What I really mean by build the value would be to list out all the features of your product. Uh, Everyone should read Story Brand. I agree with you, by the way, Carrie. Uh, so, let's, for example, okay, I told you I was going to give you my own stuff as examples of this. I did not actually do this document. Raina, who works with me, uh, made this document, and I have gone back through and looked and looked and looked and edited and edited. This is just a mega list of all of the online impact features and benefits. All of the courses that we're going to include, course roadmaps, community directory, the members only podcast, mastermind coaching as a service, like hooking people up with mastermind groups, uh, the different free premium tools we offer, like all of the features. That was this phase. Build the value. Build the value. As in assemble the features. Write everything down. This includes this and this and this. Obviously, if it's like a $19 ebook, there might not be a whole lot of benefits. But then again, if you're creative, you could probably like come up with something like uh, instant delivery to your inbox. That's a good one. Or uh, it's a simple, short thing. It's like three a three-page ebook, not like a 300-page ebook. That's like a benefit. That's like a feature. Just in the homework phase, you need to be able to list out feature, 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 feature. Again, you're not selling via this. You just need to know what they are. So you can then translate those features into benefits. You hear this all the time. And like, Every sales book under the sun is like, sell the the benefits, not the features. 
as in no one's buying your product or your affiliate's product for the features they're buying it for the benefits, the outcomes, what the features will do for them, etc. People don't actually want a podcast. That's not why they're going to buy a podcast. They're going to buy a podcast so they can start a podcast to get what they really want, the benefits, which is uh, more platforms, more reach, more opportunity, and eventually like more revenue. So there you go. Uh, go back here. Build the value. Assemble the features. Again, I showed you this. This is like a massive document right here, which I'm, I'm currently like redoing for our affiliates or whatnot. Hey, Reyna. Oh, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. <laughs> did you guys see that? <laughs> I didn't see it on my screen. I always hear like a little noise. I'm like, did you guys see that inform that, that gif? The friends gif? Anyways, so uh, pre-homework phase, build the value. List out all the features. Thank you, Reyna. I'm showing off your work right now, <laughs> by the way. I also have like an affiliate cheat sheet for my online impact members, uh, which is pretty much the same thing. Like I'm building out, I'm just listing out everything that's included, all of the features, all of the features. Again, I'm not going to be showing this to my customers uh, unless you buy, which I'm showing you right now. But what I really mean is you need to understand what the heck you're selling and be able to just like, boom, say it, boom, say it, knock it out. All right. Last part of the homework phase. And then we're going to get into the checklist is to make your plan for marketing your product, selling your product. And I kind of want to like get into this specifically for like affiliate marketing too. plan out an affiliate marketing launch. I talked about this a lot last year in an affiliate workshop I did where I was really just trying to encourage people to take an active sales approach to affiliate marketing. As in like, just sprinkle some links in, put some like random content, blog content, and hope people click through from your traffic, but actually be more intentional about selling an affiliate product, like write a review post or write a tutorial post. That's like the most basic version of that. Like I have a, on YouTube, I have a Podia review series. It teaches people how to use Podia and it's my, you know, intentional sales for affiliates, uh, Podia as an affiliate that is. But the same thing applies if you have lots of other small products, large course launches, et cetera, et cetera. Make your plan. And again, I will show you my own stuff. We'll show off the online impact version. What am I doing? Airtable. Oh, so <laughs> Raina and I, Raina, we're just like, I'm sharing all of our secrets. And by secrets, it's not actually secrets at all, but I'm sharing everything we do. Anyways, so we have an Airtable base. I'm in love with Airtable. Please use my affiliate link for Airtable so I can get Airtable credits. Hashtag awesome. Uh, so we created this things we do is literally just like everything we need to do in order to launch said product online impact and a bunch of things are actually marked off okay maybe not a bunch of things but there's like a few things that are marked off i mainly just created a database or I can't remember maybe Raina created this one where we just list out what do we need to do in order to launch this product launch online impact what needs to happen well we need to set up affiliate stuff well we need to hop on a call and go through the onboarding process which we mostly did by the way, Reina. So I'm going to put this status to done. Look at this. And it's going to go out of here because Airtable is awesome. Well, I need to update this blog post, the road to 83K. That's part of my content marketing. Well, I need to write sales emails. Well, I need to X, Y, Z. Uh, I am doing this. I've never do this on my own. Thank you, Reina. I kind of stink at organization. I This has been like incredibly valued, valuable to me just staying organized and launching this product. So you can do this via a... I don't know, like a Google sheet or even on a piece of paper for a small thing or a full on air table base, like you saw just there, just staying organized with all the different tasks, the different activities you need to do in order to launch said product, sell said service. And even it could even be like a repeatable thing. Like if you're in freelancing and you continue to pitch new clients, you could have like your own little checklist of everything that needs to happen. Oh, I really need some more clients right now. Well, let me just go to my checklist when it says like, oh, I need to make a list of potential clients. Oh, I need to find their email addresses. Oh, I need to go here, which is where I've stored my email copywriting. And then da, 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 da. Staying organized and staying with a plan. So let's go back to my doc. Let's go back to my doc. Airtable, please go give us some, some Airtable stuff. Uh, little Sunny Kitchen, you know, that's a good idea. Uh, I'll put it in, hang on. You guys use bit.ly? I love, love bit.ly. I've, I've started doing all my affiliate links like this, by the way. Okay, here is my, 
I'll just post it in chat. You'll see it in a minute because there's like a straight stream delay. Airtable. Link. Smiley face. I'm posting it in chat. Anyways, bit.ly for my affiliate links. I've been doing that a lot recently. Anywho, apologies. Back to my plan. Where's my preview? Okay. So to sum up really quick, the homework phase. Well, actually, again, there is a phase zero, which is create said product and make it awesome and spend a lot of time and effort onto it and make it good, et cetera. That's phase zero, create said product. Phase number two, or actually phase number one, <laughs> as I wrote it down, was do your homework ahead of time. Prepare for actually assembling sales assets, sales emails, a review, blog post, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, here. Uh, do your homework. Number one, aspirational identity and goals. These kind of go together. I don't really know why I put them on the same two things here. Uh, know who your potential customers are. Who are they? What do they need right now? What are their ultimate desires? What are their goals? Straight out of the building a story brand book. What are What's their aspirational identity? They don't want to be podcasters. They want to be influencers, right? That's my aspirational identity for Podcourse. They want to be influencers. They want to be on multiple platforms. They want to be everywhere. They want to have a voice. They want to have followers. They want to have true fans. They want to be influencers who have a profitable business. That's the happy ending. That's their aspirational identity. Okay, what are the monsters? What are the enemies? What are the big problems and challenges? Well, for PodCourse, again, I've already defined this, and that is a knowledge gap. I don't know how to edit a podcast. I don't know how to get on Apple Podcasts. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what equipment I actually need. And an internal monster, which is, I don't know if I can actually do a podcast. I don't know if my voice is going to sound good. I don't know any of those things. I don't know if I have what it takes. Uh, so with those three things, you can then move ahead to the plan. What is your plan for your customers to defeat said monsters? What's the plan that you're going to give them? If you're Yoda or you're Obi-Wan Kenobi, what is the plan that you're going to give Luke Skywalker? What's the plan? That is all the homework phase to do beforehand. I will point people to this checklist. You don't even need to enter your email. Again, it should be on the live stream right there. Bit.ly slash Pete's. No, excuse me. Pete sales checklist. There's only one S in there between Pete's. Pete's sales would have been super awkward. Two S's in there. Pete sales checklist. It's free. You don't need your email. Like just, just go grab it and download it. If you never use it, you can just open it on your computer and go through the rest of this with me. So the rest of this are uh, the the actual checklist. The I call it the buffet. The reason I call it a buffet, because what do you do? When you go to the buffet, if you're anything like me, you don't just like pick out something and then eat it. You you try everything. Why can't I zoom out? I cannot zoom out. I'm trying really hard to zoom out. Okay, preview. Stop it. I'll open it again. Ah, there we go. What's up, Dennis? Dennis is here. My man. Dennis is one of my favorite humans. Uh, I call it the buffet. Sorry. This is the buffet. The reason it's buffet is you want to eat as many as you can. And every sales email and every sales page on your website, on your review blog post for an affiliate stuff, you need to use as many of these as you can reasonably get away with. These are just like the pick and choose from the buffet. If you only want like three of these because you're, you know, 100 pounds and you're not going to eat that much from the buffet, okay, just use three of these. If you're like me and you eat everything you can get a hold of, I like to try and use these on everything. Sales pages, emails, you name it. So let's go down the buffet and I'm going to, quite frankly, just show you what I'm going to be doing for online impact and pod course. So number one, empathy. How is this going to play out? Empathy is, first of all, it's always needed. But even right now, I would argue empathy is needed more than ever. The current like COVID-19 pandemic, you need to be expressing empathy. You know how your audience is feeling. I'm going to say that again. You need to know how your audience is feeling feeling. While I talk about that, I'm actually going to open up the uh, sales page draft. It's not live yet, but it will be soon. <laughs> Hopefully if I can get it done. This is the online impact sales page. And I haven't actually added this section yet because I just thought of this last night. Uh, or I didn't think of it last night, but I, I just kind of pictured what it was going to be last night. And sorry, I got to find it. It's on the next page. Basically, I'm going to be putting in a separate section in the online impact sales page that is just related to the pandemic, COVID-19, the coronavirus stuff. And it's basically just going to say like, here 
we understand. We understand that we are selling online impact. We had like a pretty high price point and now we're going to make it more accessible and more affordable. The pricing is like down here somewhere. Yeah, so this was the previous pricing. Uh, yeah, I know Raina hasn't even seen this yet. Nobody's seen this. Literally, you guys are the first person other than me to see this. So we're gonna do 250 bucks every six months, 400 bucks, 1200 bucks every six months. And thanks to the coronavirus, we are going to uh, just split that up to make it more accessible into quarterly payments. Every three months, instead of every six months, I'm gonna literally add a section right here. You can see I'm not, <laughs> not quite done with this yet. I'm gonna add a section right here that basically just says like, look, we know this can be a lot of money and budgets are tight right now, now more than ever before. We understand that's why we made this small change, which will hopefully just make it that much more accessible. It's gonna be $125 every three months. It's gonna be $200 every three months. And the elite's just gonna stay the same because those people don't need that. But in general, empathy. Okay, this next part is one of my favorites and it never fails to uh, be effective. Is it for you? Is it not for you? It doesn't matter what you are selling. Uh, a good example of this is actually my Podio review series on YouTube, which I mentioned earlier. In that video, I talk about the uh, the comparison between what Thinkific, Teachable, all the different like course softwares out there. I'm like, which one is for you? Which one is not for you? Podia is for you if you're still pretty tight on a budget. So one of the cheaper options, and you just want something as simple as possible where you can like plug and play. It doesn't have quite as many features as Thinkific. It doesn't but it's this, it's not this, it's this. Is it for you? Is it not for you? Online impact is for dot, 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 dot. If this is you, online impact is for you and you should pay me money and you should buy right now. However, if you were this other person, blah, blah, X, Y, Z, online impact is not for you. If you were this person, my product is for you. If you are this person, it's not for you yet. This is a very, 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 very powerful thing. Just cause it just, pushes people who are anywhere close to the is for you phase. It just pushes them over the edge. Like, okay, now this person understands me. They understand what I need, what I want. Cool. Or by the way, vice versa, you're going to cut down on refunds. <laughs> this is not for me. Online impact is not for brand spanking new. I'm only been doing this for two weeks. Bloggers. It's not for brand new bloggers. It's not. And I'm going to say all that, uh, say all that. I'm going to say all that. I'm going to say that on the sales page. Uh, risk reversal. This one, whoa, what the heck just happened? What is this? I have no idea, no earthly idea what just happened right there. I literally clicked on a PDF, which has like an embedded, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, <laughs> risk reversal. The easiest risk reversal in the world is a money back guarantee. I could have sworn I wrote that on this checklist right here. Maybe I should add that in to be more clear. Risk reversal, a money back guarantee. Try it. For 30 days, we will give you a hundred percent money back guarantee. I'm currently looking at a video editing thing. Uh, VidChops or Video Husky are two services that would uh, uh, edit all my YouTube videos, like an unlimited amount of YouTube videos on like a monthly plan. And they have a thing where it's like, we have a 14 day money back guarantee. And that's, if they did not have that, there's no way I would try them, no way. I need that. I need to be able to like, no, no, no. I want my money back. Money back guarantee. That's the easiest one. Another one, risk reversal is, it's not quite risk reversal, but it's pretty close. If you'll remember in the homework phase, when you assemble your features, you build the value. You can even see in uh, what Rena did up here. She put a dollar amount on these courses that are included in online impact. New blogger bootcamp. It retails for $97 courses. Do even blog.com. Not all of these are even available to the public yet. Um, Elementor for bloggers is 97 bucks. New Blogger Bootcamp is $97. We added up all the features and we came up with a value, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, in the sales page right here, that adds up to over $1,384 in value from courses and tools alone. Like all of my benefits here, uh, I added them up and I, I stacked it against the overall cost, which will come like, down here, they'll be like, oh, wow, I, that's like 1300 bucks just in the courses. That didn't even include community, blog, audits, uh, masterminds, et cetera, et cetera, and it's only you know $125 every three months. That's not quite a risk reversal, but that's, that's part of that. Okay, 
So attention. <laughs> uh, there are a few things that I really want to point out here. Half the stuff in the building a story brand book, I keep talking about this for good reason. Uh, the future imagery, talking about people's pain points and the challenges, talking about the desires. Uh, all of this stuff can grab people's attention and help with engagement. I have another one down here, which I'm going to skip to right now. Unexpected stuff. <laughs> As it's stuff that engages people. Um, what I'm planning on doing for Online Impact and PodCourse launches, quite frankly, is doing more hand-drawn stuff like this. This is my hand-drawn like little worksheet here. Is it super professional looking? No, of course not. Is it outside the norm? Is it slightly unexpected? Uh, I would argue yes. When is the last time that you opted into a PDF freebie sales checklist and it was hand-drawn? Never. 100% never. You've <laughs> never done that. I can almost guarantee you. And when's the last time you opened up a sales email and saw hand-drawn images? Like super unprofessional. I'm not a professional artist in any sort of the imagination. When's the last time you did that? Never. It's unexpected. It's engaging. And that's my brand, by the way. Don't just go do your own hand-drawn images and then put them in all, all over your sales page or your sales emails because that's not your brand. That's my brand. But you can do some things like that that stand out, that are slightly unexpected outside of the norm and that will help people stay engaged to your content uh, so unexpected stuff also helps with attention you can't sell anybody anything unless you have their attention and outside of you know drawing goofy images and putting them in your sales emails uh, you can use these things right here in order to kind of keep people engaged with your affiliate review post or your sales email or whatever the heck it is so let's go over these really quick future imagery. This is simply talking about what their life is going to look like after they buy your product. For example, I don't have it on the sales page yet because there is no sales page, but podcourse.com is where it'll be. When I talk about the future imagery of podcourse, I'm talking about imagine six months from now when you have a podcast on autopilot that takes up a very minimal amount of your time and you are reaching a brand new audience, seeing growth month after month of people coming to your email list, coming to your website, engaging with your products more and more and more now that you have a podcasting system down pat. I want them to imagine what their business is going to look like six months from now. After they take pod course, they buy in, they take pod course, they implement everything I say. Now their business is this future imagery. Pain points. I have a really great pain point stuff here on the online impact sales page. I'm actually really happy about this. I'm really happy about the way it turned out. Hang on, here we go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, speaking of future imagery, think about that. What if you felt 1000% more clarity and confidence in your online business strategy? Like, what would that look like? How would you feel? Right? What if your blog podcast was reaching 3x as many people six months from now? That's all that is future imagery. Uh, pain points. Entrepreneurship is like a roller coaster. It's a turns. And then I have more uh, pain point stuff down here. Thank you, whoever just subscribed on YouTube. Uh, every single day, creators are trying to piece together an influential platform, trying to make money, trying to grow followers, trying to diagnose tech issues, trying to make sense of all the strategies, all the SEO and pictures and everything. It's true what they say. Growing an online business is super hard. So what do we do? We buy courses, a lot of courses. We look for shortcuts. We try every strategy under the sun. Why isn't this one working for me? This person sold me on this course. I'm doing what they said to do. Why isn't that working for me? We even start doubting our abilities to make this blogging thing work. I'm not actually sure I have what it takes. Um, all I'm doing right here is trying to keep people engaged and talking about the pain points, the challenges, the monsters that online impact is going to help them slay, right? It also, by the way, builds a ton of empathy, pain points. So what do we do? Oh, I love this. The five stages, I should make that six. It's actually six stages. Six stages of uh, being stuck. I might rename that too. Stage one, excitement. Blogging is awesome. Gonna make money. Stage two, it's getting real. Woo, there's so much to learn, but this is kind of still fun. Number three, confusion. Wait, nothing's really happening. No one's really coming to my site. Like this is actually kind of hard. Stage four, overwhelm. Oh my God, there's so many things I feel like I need to keep up with and publish and like learn and do and try and fix these tech problems. And oh my gosh, overwhelming. Stage five, frustrations. Like nothing is worth it. I'm not even sure I'm cut out for this. I might actually just quit. Stage six, resignation. I don't think I'm ever going to grow this and make money. Like, I don't actually think I have what it takes, right? Uh, cool. Talking about pain points, trying to keep people engaged. And then I got more fun stuff down there. So uh, get philosophical. 
what this is also straight out of building a story brand. And this is basically like, what is wrong about the world uh, as it relates to your avatar? What do they believe is like totally unfair, totally wrong? Like, how does your product like help, you know, conquer those evil philosophical things like the big ideals? Uh, luckily, that's like super broad. It means nothing. So I have a little bit of this on the sales page. Wait, where what is it? Uh, this is kind of it right here. This is pretty philosophical. I talked about the pain points. This journey of entrepreneurship is super overwhelming. It's a, it's a big challenge. It's a big pain point. Here's my big philosophical argument. Here's an idea. We believe you shouldn't have to ride this roller coaster alone. It's stupid how isolated bloggers feel, especially now in the pandemic when people are working at home. We believe you should not have to do any of this completely alone. You should have mastermind groups. You should have a Slack channel with engaged people that can come in and answer questions. You need accountability buddies. You need people ahead of you to look for, for inspiration and motivation. You need them to be accessible so you can ask them questions. Online impact solves this. We believe you should not have to do that journey all by yourself. Absolutely. Huge. I'm getting like worked up over here. I'm like sweating. Uh, frustrations and challenges, same sort of thing as it relates to the pain point. Whew. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a 20 second break. I need to see some emojis in chat. You guys drop me some emojis. How are you feeling about this so far? Go to emojipedia.org or is it .com? No, it's .org. Emojipedia.org and grab me some uh, emojis about how you're feeling right now. Just use that. You can search right here in the chat box. What is this? Is that a, a microbe? Are you kidding me? Copy. Paste. I'm pasting microbes in chat. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm taking a water break for 20 seconds. You guys hit me up with some emojis in chat. I want to see them. I will. Uh, <laughs> this is, I, hope, I hope somebody does this. Somebody drop me an emoji or two. And then we'll, we'll dive back in, I promise. Mm. My camera's crooked. I just noticed. It's like tilted this way. Maybe I could just do everything that way. It'd be okay. Oh man, that's exciting. Marina, rock it. All right, let's roll. Let's dive back into it. Hey, Ren. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the live stream here. Again, bit.ly, Pete Sales Checklist. You should be able to see that on the screen. That is the uh, free download. That's the checklist that we're actually looking at right now. If you're just tuning in, you can go uh, check that stuff out right there. Bit.ly slash Pete Sales Checklist. Don't even need to enter in your email. Just go grab it, download it. That's what we're going through right now. Let me uh, dive back in to my comp. <laughs> my computer. That's short for computer, in case you didn't know. All right. So... Uh, we've talked about empathy, showing you you understand how your customers are feeling. These two blocks kind of go together. It This is for you if X, Y, Z. This is not for you if X, Y, Z. That helps people feel a lot more confident if they're anywhere close to the is for you. Excuse me. Uh, risk reversal, the money back guarantee. Obviously an example of that. Attention, you need to keep people's attention. You can do that by talking about all the uh, the story brand elements their pain points, their challenges, their frustrations, as well as their big desires, the stuff they want, the future imagery, what their life will look like after the sale, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's move on. Social proof. Social proof is awesome. Hopefully you already understand what that means, but it really just means people need to see other people who have brought your product. Testimonials is by far the easiest. And again, big shout out to Raina, who has been going through. And why did I just search Raina? I'm sorry, Raina. Um, testimonials. That's what I'm looking at. Oh, internet. Anyways, so uh, Reno, Reno, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll let it back. Reno, Reina has been assembling testimonials from our current members. We got a lot of them, thankfully. I haven't put these on the sales page yet, but uh, I'm going to. That's a lot of social proof for all these members right here. Uh, one other thing I did is I added these. This is like from our Slack channel and online impact. And we have like a wins channel. Like you just go there and post wins. That's the entire point of the wins channel. And so Rain and I took some screenshots and put them on here. Like people can see lens. Like I just sold my first digital product. I just booked two new clients. That's actually Liz. Uh, Ryan, 500, half a million downloads on this podcast. 
like first accountability sale, it's a thing. First sale right there. First digital sale, it's a small one, but super happy about it. Uh, just got an email, first paid gig. Like these are all online impact members. This is like hardcore social proof that what we do works. The support we provide, the courses we have, like the Slack groups, the mastermind groups, the live calls, like what we do works. Uh, and so online, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the wins channel, uh, is social proof of that, that combined with testimonials, probably the only social proof you would ever need. Another two other really quick social proof things. Uh, you, if you're like featured anywhere, like on, I was featured on Forbes and business insider. Like we see this all the time, right? That's good. Social proof, different blogs. You've been featured on different outlets, that sort of thing. Another one is any sort of numbers. If you are, I mentioned Liz Wilcox just a second ago. Liz is a copywriter now. She sold her blog and now she's a copywriter. Uh, so she's like working with big time clients for their products. Like she would want to have numbers available. I have worked with X number of products. I've worked with over 10 clients and then more numbers that have made combined $7.2 million in launches or something. Like numbers uh, are really good for like building authority and also just like social proof that this person knows what they're talking about. Again, this is a little bit more difficult in affiliate marketing, but I would argue still 100% uh, applies. <laughs> I put in this checkbox right here, the price, only because I have uh, on two different occasions, I've actually forgot to include the price of whatever I'm selling. And it needs to be like abundantly clear. What's the first thing you do? Whenever you go to, I'll, I'll pull a video Husky, any sort of like software product nowadays or anything really like the first thing you look at you're like where's that pricing link where's my pricing link where's that pricing link boom pricing link if i if, if i can't find a pricing link on like some home page i'm actually a little bit angry like why i need to know this information i have a budget i need to know the price so you have to tell people and uh you know as stupid as that sounds i've forgot to do it twice <laughs> so there you go i will not be forgetting on this uh online impact Page. There will be pricing. In fact, this join now button is actually just going to link down to the pricing. I don't want anybody like not knowing exactly how much it cost. And by the way, I told you about empathy and I'm going to be putting in a little section on this sales page right here that has something to do with COVID-19 coronavirus. We are making this more accessible by changing our pricing structure because we, we, we know how hard it is. That's empathy. That also tells people the price again, like I'm going to use another opportunity up here to clue people in to how much this program cost, like specifically. Yeah. It's so annoying when they don't do the, uh, <laughs> the pricing stuff. Okay. This is off. To, this is a little break in the checklist, but this is so important. Is your stuff clear? Again, I'm going to go with a little Donald Miller action right here. Story brand building a story brand is one of the big points he makes in this book. It even says it right there. Clarify your message. You guys like, can't see that at the moment, but it says clarify your message. And what he says in this book is if you confuse, you lose. People don't buy the products that are the best. They just don't. They buy the products that they can understand the quickest, the easiest. At least that's the argument that Don Miller makes in his book. I happen to agree with that. And I happen to be the person who loves to be clever. I don't know if you know this about me yet, blog tribe, but I love being clever. I like being smart and funny, or at least being perceived as smart and funny. I try to be clever all the time. That's actually, that works against me sometimes, especially when it comes to selling my products. That can actually works against, work against me. I need to make sure I'm being explicitly clear of what product I'm selling, what's included, what the price is, what the benefits are, what you are going to walk away with from online impact, from PodCourse, from uh, my affiliate Podia or whatever that is. Like I need to make it clear. And so that's why I put this on this checklist. It's just a good thing to ask yourself to check often. Is my stuff clear? Again, I want to go back to the sales page just a second. I'm sorry. I'm like, I just want to add uh, one thing that helps me be more clear. Again, this is my brand. It's not your brand. I love big fonts, big fonts. You can tell at the very top of the page and go by the very top. I need a like back to top button on here. Get the skills, strategies, and support you need to build the online business you want. Quite frankly, I might even could put business instead of biz. That would actually be a little bit more clear. <laughs> even if it's a little bit longer, which I was trying to shorten it. That's the only reason I did that. I might could even put business. Biz is me trying to be clever again. I should probably change that. Get the skills, strategies, and support you need to build the online business you want. I should probably do that. 
but big fonts, big, bold writing. Again, that's my brand. It's not your brand, but that does help me be even more upfront, grab even more attention, which I also talked about, and be clear. Okay, another thing, your passion. I swear, I swear, I swear. This is 2020. There are so many blogs and podcasts and digital products and courses and memberships and PDFs and, oh my gosh, like you understand this, right? You understand what I'm saying? Nothing sells me more personally, and I would argue you and everybody else, nothing sells me more than seeing the creator or CEO or salesperson for that matter, who is super fired up about their product. Online Impact. Uh, I'm going to have a promo video. This is how I'm mostly doing it for Online Impact. I'm gonna have a promo video up top on the sales page. I haven't shot it yet, um, which is why it's not on there. But uh, in this video, I don't have to even pretend. I don't have to act. I'm not a very good actor. But what I really am good at is telling the truth. And I am fired up about Online Impact. And Podcourse, by the way. I think everybody should have a podcast right now. And when people hear me start talking about it, they want to be involved. They want to be a part of this. They want to be a part of Online Impact and Podcourse because they can see that I care about it. They can see what the value is in Online Impact and Podcourse and even Podia, like in my Podia review series. Again, I sat there and I said, I've tried Thinkific and Teachable and Kajabi and XYZ. Podia is my favorite, easily, by far. When I say it like that, people resonate with it. When I say like, I have really been building online impact for about three years now, almost three years. Like I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about community. I'm passionate about my courses and my quick style of learning. I'm passionate about the live calls and building relationships and getting opportunities in that way. I know it's what people need to grow their business. I know it is. I've seen it for three years. I'm super passionate about it. And that sells, just being honest. (laughs) <laughs> so the more you can actually showcase your own passion for the products, the more people are going to buy into it. There it is. I don't care if it's selling me a used car either, by the way. If somebody, if a used car salesman came up to me and I could genuinely tell, genuinely tell that he was fired up about said car, it would make me want to buy it. Or at least a little bit more. Because <laughs> I don't like buying used cars. Anyways, urgency, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't even think I've added this on the sales page. Huh. Oh. Dang, I need to do that. Yeah, part of my urgency is really, really easy and straightforward. And that is, this is an open cart launch. This is open from, uh, what, April 13? That would be a Monday to the Friday. What was that? I don't even know. Open my calendar here. It's only open for five days. April 13 through, I guess, 18. 13 plus five. Oh, nope, 17. See, I don't know how, I don't know how math works. Uh, Online Impact launches the 13th and closes down the 17th, and it will not be open again for several more months. So that is what the urgency is. It's really simple. And by the way, uh, I need to (laughs) implement that. I'll probably put like a countdown timer right here at the top to my like scrolling menu right here. I'll probably put down that like cart closes in blah, blah, blah. You have X amount of days, X amount of hours left, building in some urgency. And by the way, something that I particularly believe in is... Being able to explain to people, not necessarily on the sales page, but definitely in sales emails, why? Why am I closing the cart? Why is it only available? Why isn't this available for purchase like all the time? And for me personally, it's like a super easy sell. Online Impact is a program. It is not just an evergreen online course. There's a lot more to it than that. We have a member onboarding, which Raina and I have probably spent entirely too much time designing and redesigning and going back to. Uh, We built out like an entire like step by step, like literally like three, four days ago, we we were talking about this. Like we have an onboarding process. It takes people six months to get into online impact and really start building more connections and see more and more benefits arise. Like if people just join our membership community and they're looking for instant value in like even a week or two, like they're not going to get it. That's stupid. So I closed the cart and that's why it's not evergreen. Anyways, so urgency. Uh, just a few more here. We already talked about unexpected stuff a little bit. It's super engaging. Again, for me and my brand, it's doing a little bit more humor, a little bit more like hand-drawn stuff because not everybody else does that. And But again, that's me and my brand. I think it's super hard, but it's super necessary to figure out what can you do in your sales emails, in your content marketing, a blog post, a review post, or whatever that is. Like, what can you do that's like a little bit unexpected? And it's really difficult to hammer out, but I think it's uh, (laughs) worth pursuing. Worth thinking through to say that. All right, next up is bonuses. 
Bonuses. People love bonuses. Uh, let me open up my swipe file. Hang on. Open swipe file. Here's my swipe file. What is this? Go away. Amy Porterfield. I swear. It's like she has uh, a product launch. She'll have like one tiny thing is the actual product. And she'll have like 27 bonuses. <laughs> that's crazy to me. Uh, but it works. I guess that's the point I'm getting at. Open. This is Amy's sales page right here. Uh, online impact. I am planning on doing one or two small bonuses. Actually, Melody is on the live stream. I should just ask Melody. I was going to ask Melody uh, yesterday. I didn't do it. I was like, Melody, do you have any like $19 products for course creators that I could like add on, tack on as a little bonus? Anyways, hit me up, Melody, <laughs> if you want that. Uh, anyways, bonuses. Like here are features. And then we got this. Plus two hot bonuses. Take things to the next level. Bonus number one, private yada yada. By the way, this is just like a private group with her Q and A's. This easily could have been included like up here with like the standard features, but just labeling it as a bonus. I know we can all see through it. It's silly and a little stupid, but it works. Like it's still psychological. Bonus number one, a private thing. And by the way, we talked about, uh, wait, oh, there we go. We talked about adding up the value for risk reversal and then up here, like laying out the price of all your different features or not and then comparing them against the actual cost. Uh, Amy's doing that right here too. Bonus number one, private list builders, blah, blah, blah. $700 value. I don't know about that, Amy, but in general, it works. How to blah, 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 blah. This is like a, I don't even know what this is. It's like a webinar maybe, or like a video series. I don't know, $400 value. So she's offering bonuses there. For me personally, I don't actually know what the bonuses are just yet, uh, but I'm gonna be adding some. <laughs> I even have like a bunch of old freebies that I don't actually promote anymore. They're not available. I call it the the vault. No one else knows about this, by the way. Literally just me. I just named it the blog drive vault. Uh, so I might include some of that stuff as bonuses up here. And I'll put them like after the features. So there's like a bunch of features here for online impact. And then I'll like tack it on to uh, the end. Just like a couple of bonuses. It helps. By the way, another cool thing specifically for product launches is tacking on bonuses and urgency. Urgency and bonuses. For example, one thing you could do, and I might actually end up doing it for this launch, is say like, if you buy on Monday, April 13th, that's the day the cart opens, if you buy Monday, I will also throw in this little bonus. Only if you buy on Monday. A lot of people do this to increase, like no one buys in the middle of the week, during launch week, they buy on the first day and they buy on the last day due to urgency. First day when it opens, those are the people who knew that they were going to join online impact or they, they knew they were going to buy pie course, uh, thanks to pre-marketing, pre-sales, stuff like that. Uh, and then the last day when like the cart is closing, it's urgency. You have two hours left to pay me money for stuff. Right. Uh, so no one buys stuff in the middle. I've seen a bunch of people add bonuses in there. Like if you buy in the first day or even like the first three days or some people I've even seen, uh, Brian Harris, do a different bonus for each day of a launch, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I don't really, I think that's a little bit too much for me, but in general, you can tie bonuses to uh, urgency. Let's go back here. There we go. Uh, what's next? Oh, <laughs> uh, I owe this next one to some people in my mastermind group, which uh, challenged me to go 100%. Like, am I giving 100% effort for my launches? And the reason I have it in the past, I truly have not in the past, by the way, I truly haven't. This is a little uh, Pete being vulnerable time here. Part of the reason I have not gone hundred percent in the past is out of fear. Like it's really easy for me to look back at a failed product launch or something that didn't go quite well or did okay, but not super K okay, and be like, well, I didn't actually try hundred percent. That's a good excuse. That makes me feel better about myself. Oh, the reason this this product launch didn't go that great is because I didn't really try all that hard. I didn't really promote to affiliates. I, I, I decided not to do affiliates for this launch. That's been me in the past. These launches, Online Impact and PodCourse, I'm going 100%. I'm going to do everything I can. Uh, part of this is evidenced by, quite frankly, affiliates. I, I mentioned affiliates a second ago. Uh, again, with the Airtable, hashtag, you know, use my affiliate link. Uh, I am organizing my affiliate strategy. Like I, I need to go hundred percent. I need to stay organized. I need to stay planned. Look at this list. I have a lot of work to do by the way, but, uh, I I'm, I'm going all out. I'm going 100%. I'm giving 100% effort into getting all of these big 
uh, affiliates on board to promote PodCourse. Uh, I don't I don't want to do this. Why don't I want to do this? Because I'm lazy and I'm scared. I'm fearful that it might not work. But at the end of the day, my mastermind group challenged me to give 100%. And they're right, by the way. I need to go 100%. The reason I need to go 100% is because, A, that's what works to begin with. And then, two, the fear thing is stupid. Like, I need to look back at this online impact launch and the course launch and say, like, you know what? I gave it my best. That's it. And it's a little psychological thing. But am I going 100%? Oh, I wrote down try. I don't care how big, little your audience is. That's another big takeaway. Uh, again, I mentioned uh, Chelsea earlier. Chelsea, my friend. She uh, got the advice from Jillian me and Jillian, but mostly Jillian, if I'm honest, to actually go 100% when she first launched her ice binder. She wasn't going to do that. She was going to like kind of put it out to her list or whatnot. And I think, I think it was Jillian that, that challenged her like, no, go ahead and do like a full on launch. Like pretend it's going to be a massive thing. Just, just pretend. Fake it till you make it go 100%. Uh, well, spoiler alert, it worked and it's made like $130,000 in the past year or something. I don't know. Something crazy. Uh, okay. Strong and direct calls to action. CTA. It doesn't matter how many times people give this advice. No one does this enough. Isn't that crazy? Like buy online impact. I don't quite have that down, um, but I'm going to be adding in a little bit in the, uh, oh, you can already see these buttons right here. Actually, now that I, I, I sit here and look, one thing I can't stand is when people have like buy buttons that don't actually say buy or join or some sort of action. It's kind of weird. Some people kind of like skirt around that. Buy now. Purchase now. Join now. And by the way, uh, that says join now. If you go over to my actual like cart page, I'm pretty sure it actually literally says like make the purchase or something like that. I can't remember actually what it says. Let's see if I can find it. Online impact. Get URL. Uh, view. Check out. I'm just curious to see what the button is right now. Complete order. Well, that's pretty direct. I don't say purchase, but it's, it's pretty direct. Complete order. Very, very clear. Very, very strong calls to action. Do this. Make the purchase. Buy my thing. Click here to try Podia for free. Click here to sign up for Airtable and give Pete and Raina Airtable credits for Airtable Pro. <laughs> Do this. Um... Yeah, super, 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 super strong. Direct, strong calls to action. Click here. Make a purchase. Join now. Buy my stuff, etc. I had something else here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The plan. Remember we talked about the plan? Not your plan for launching, but the other plan. The customer's plan. Your plan for your customer. Join Online Impact. I'll send you a welcome email with the very first step and get you plugged into your courses you'll hit the ground running and book a strategy call. Like, what is the plan? One, two, three. That is actually a very strong call to action as well. Or when coupled together, those are super strong. So I'm going to have, I'm actually going to name it too. I'm going to put it right here. I think right afterward. I think right after this pricing page is literally the next widget that I'm going to add on the sales page down here. The next section is going to be a the online impact plan. And it's going to be three steps. Like literally three, not four, not five, not 20, three steps. And I can already tell you the first one is join online impact. Wait, I already have this down. I can just show it to you. My story brand. I'm a huge Donald Miller fanboy. In case you can't tell. Wait, my credentials don't match. Existing users log in here. Basically just spelling out kind of what's going to happen after they click buy. When people click join, when click, people click make the purchase, complete order, it can be nice to actually tell them, like literally explain it to them in a sales email or a sales page or whatever, what's going to happen. Where's my plan? Oh, here it is. You guys see that? Uh, here is the plan. You join us in Online Impact. We'll set you up with all your resources and walk you through exactly where to start next. You start growing your biz with more confidence, knowledge, and support. Uh, this is about as clear as I could get it. I could do a little bit better than that, I think. But that's going to go... I'm going to spell it out right here. And that's going to be coupled with the strong call to action. All right. Water break. <coughs> and coughing break. Ooh. If you guys are still with me, uh, hit me up with some more emojis. Any more emojis in the chat. Emojipedia.org. Grab some emojis. 
All right, spelling out exactly what happens next after they buy the plan. By the way, if you're a salesperson, I, I literally witnessed this one time, a really, really strong version of this when I was in sales or no, excuse me, purchasing and accounting at a huge $7 billion hospital chain in Georgia. Uh, I was responsible for cash management. So like the big armored trucks like Loomis and like Wells Fargo, like all the armored truck services, I had to meet with a ton of these people, a ton of different services at one point. They literally like drove out salespeople to our offices and I had to sit across the, ta the table from them and like be sold to. And <laughs> I remember a lot of things from those sales meetings, but in general, they were all really good at this. They're like, after you sign up with, well, I'm just going to throw out Loomis because Loomis is an armored truck company that I remember. After you sign up, we are going to send over some associates to audit your cash management process. We're going to set a date for the first pickup and the first routes. Uh, it's going to be seven days after blah, blah, blah. Like they walk through step by step what's going to happen after you join us. I just remember the first step. The first step was like, we're going to send over somebody that day to come and sit with you for an hour and just audit your cash management process and blah, 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 blah. Oh, pretty cool. There you go. Evidence of what I'm, what I'm saying is true. Anyways. All right. This next one is my secret sauce. This is the, this is the most valuable thing. Not really, but this is pretty valuable. <laughs> I've done this for every launch when I was launching online impact in the past. And uh, even when it was called blogger U, which it was before online impact, I always, 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 almost always <laughs> ended every sales email with, if you have any questions, hit reply. This is like bears repeating. If you have any questions, hit reply. And you'll see that another evidence of this is the chat box on sales page. I'm just gonna go to Video Husky. Let's go to Video Husky. I can almost guarantee you there'll be like a chat box down here somewhere. Like I'm, I'm scrolling through here. Is there a chat box? Can you guys see if, oh yeah, there it is. Uh, you can see, I was actually chatting with them just the other day. There you go. What is this stuff? Uh, anyways, uh, chat box. If you have questions, hit reply. Give people opportunity to ask questions. And <laughs> I will say from experience that in past launches I've done, this has accounted for like half of my sales. Maybe not half, but a large majority of people who bought into online impact, even this past launch really, but especially early on, uh, back when it was called blogger, you, I always did this. People always responded and asked questions. It is the perfect opportunity to answer questions and therefore like move the sale forward. And as long as you're being honest, which I think most of us probably would be, if you're watching this, if you're in the blog drive, hopefully you'd be doing things in a genuine, honest fashion, give people the ability to ask questions about the product. You could do this in review videos, like my Podia review series. I think I even put there, uh, like drop me a comment. If you have any questions on Podia, I am going to put, ask me a question, hit reply and ask me a question at the very bottom of each of my sales emails for these coming launches, online impact and pod course. If you have questions, hit reply, let me know, let me help you understand this product so you can make the sale or not make the sale in that case, but ask or uh, say this often, like got any questions, please ask them. Any questions, ask them. All right, only uh, two more here. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day. Call it a do. Yeah, but what's the cost? Okay, so the reason I put this one in quotation marks is because this is actually from a movie. But I, c I couldn't remember what movie. I even went and like searched for it for like 10 minutes. I can't remember. In the movie, uh, this thing happens where somebody asks like, okay, what's the cost? And then the person he's talking to is like, well, it's going to be, you know, 20,000 for the first year and blah, blah, blah. And the other guy interrupts him and goes like, no, no, no. But what's the cost? And what he meant was not the dollar amount. What is this costing people? What are they uh, having to give up? What are they having to give up? Not just the dollar amount, not the monetary value of your product or your course or whatever that is, but what's the cost if they don't do business with you? Again, I'm just being completely honest with you. I, I'm stealing this from StoryBrand and half of those in other books, by the way. I'm sure Don Miller sold half of this stuff. But yeah, but what's the cost? What is the cost of not doing business with you? For people who do not buy online impact, what's going to be the cost? Well, the cost is partially these things, which I outlined earlier, continuing. Gosh, sorry. There we go. There it is. The five stages of being stuck 
uh, I'm probably going to mention something like, you know, if you choose not to join Online Impact right now, that's great. I totally support that. But you might spend the next six months somewhere in here without a clear strategy for growth, without like just constant support and uh, tech questions and like one-on-one -on -one feedback and group brainstorming power. Like you could continue forward on your current path. The way things have been going, that's the way things are going to continue to go. Or you could join, join Online Impact and we could set you straight starting today. Like it's not going to happen overnight, but now you're included in the program where we will work with you. All of us will work with you in some fashion in order to get you set up for the future. Like you are now a part of this community and over time it's going to help you and it's going to keep you more focused, hopefully, and get you more sales and more growth and yada, yada, right? But what's the cost of not joining Online Impact? The cost of not doing a uh, pod course, by the way, is actually a lot easier. <laughs> the cost of not joining Online Impact is a little bit, it's a little bit harder to explain to people very clearly. But for podcasts, it's going to be super easy. It's like you're missing out on this opportunity. Podcasting is going to continue to grow. Uh, by the way, I can't actually say that to people right now because like podcast downloads are like half because no one's commuting at the moment. But hopefully that'll go away. Hopefully that'll go away by the time podcast launches. But that's another one a day. Um, you'll be missing out on this opportunity. Like a year from now, you will have wished you had started a podcast in 2020. And quite frankly, like the best time to start a podcast was 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. Every single month and year, podcast downloads are growing out the wazoo. So many more podcasting tech startups are coming online every single month. Again, we're going like uh, almost at a million active podcasts now, whereas six months ago, it was still at 700,000. It took 10 uh, like 15, 15 years to go to like 700,000 active podcasts. And now in the last like couple of months, we were almost up to a million. <laughs> like podcast growth is phenomenal right now. And I think will continue to be phenomenal for the next couple of years, probably. But you need to start now. Even if it's bad, that's okay. You'll get better. Like you'll be missing out on this opportunity. Podcourse is going to help you get up and running in a simple fashion. That's not going to take a lot of your time. Start now, today. Urgency in that as well as what's the cost of not grabbing pod course right now? Another one, by the way, is this. Are you ready for this? Yeah, but what's the cost? Not just the dollar amount, but what's the what's the real cost? The price is going to go up. Online Impact, it, it was way cheaper back when I launched in October. People who didn't buy in October and are going to stick around for the long term, maybe that's Melody, maybe that's anybody else. Well, you got a good deal because the price is going up. In fact, it's already gone up and it's going to go up even more. So there's urgency in that. There is an additional like, yeah, what's the cost if you don't engage with my product today? What is the cost of not doing business with you? And the last one I got down here is just your story. This matter, this is a little bit different depending on <laughs> what you're selling. But if you just tell your story as it relates to your product or the problem your product solves or, or whatever it is, that can actually accomplish a lot of these other ones. Uh, for example, uh, one story I have for my, I'm, I just keep mentioning the Podio Review series only because I guess that's on the top of my head. But one thing I say in that video is over the past three years, I have used Thinkific for over a year, Teachable for over a year. I've also tried to put some different software on my website for courses, Lifter LMS, LearnDash. I have tried all of those things. I was super frustrated about this. I was super frustrated about that. Now I use Podia. That's a story. That's my story. And I don't know if I couldn't count off the top of my head, but I just went through like a bunch of these like checkboxes that I've been talking about for an hour now in that one little story, in that little 10 sentences. All I did was like tell my honest to God story, which that actually happened, by the way. I've tried all those platforms. I was super frustrated about all of them. I do use Podia now. I pay for Podia now. Uh, it works for me. It's great. Couldn't be happier. Well, I could be happier, but I, this is the, <laughs> the lesser of all the evils in core software. But in general, uh, you could just tell your story. Another one would be this. This is for online impact. I, I can't remember if I put this on the sales page yet. I don't actually know if I'm going to do all of this, um, but I did have this. Here's my story. Howdy. I'm Pete McPherson, founder of Online Impact. Do you have a blog? Over the past 11 years, I've reviewed well over 5,000 blogs. 
Uh, personally work with over a thousand bloggers, podcasters, online entrepreneurs. I've interviewed multi-billionaires and brand spanking new bloggers. Uh, and if there's one thing I've learned over the years, it's this. There is no secret hack to success. Oh, you know what I should put right here? <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> I should put that. That shows empathy and it also just like makes me more uh, honest and authentic, which I am, by the way. I have tried. I've tried for a lot of hacks that didn't really work out, etc. cetera. Um, and I continue on down here, but the, the basic gist is nothing has helped me more than my own mastermind group and surrounding myself with people that I can talk to that I can reach out to that I can vox back and forth with hashtag uh, Raina hashtag uh, Dennis <laughs> hashtag Chelsea hashtag a bunch of other people nothing has helped my business sustain itself honestly keep in business like without quitting nothing uh, I would not be able to have done anything without that without nothing like legit nothing so that's part of online impact is facilitating that for other people and it doesn't take a, a week. It takes a year or more, <laughs> six months maybe. But that's part of it too. Like telling my story of, I got to be honest with you, I've tried over 50 plus online businesses and blogs over the past like decade or more. And nothing has helped me stick with uh, do you have a blog more than this, this, and the X, Y, and Z. Like just telling that story right there, whether it's uh, my experiences with Podia or with online impact and stuff. Just telling your personal story and like how it relates to your product or the challenges and problems that your product solves, telling that story, how you yourself have had experience with that, that actually like checks a bunch of these boxes right here. It checks empathy, showing that you've been in their shoes, um, social proof slash authority, that you know what the heck you're talking about because you've been there before, perhaps. Uh, your passion, maybe, it might showcase a bunch of that. Just telling your story. So, there you go. Uh, I will conclude the broadcast here in a second. I will say that uh, bit.ly slash Pete sales checklist. There you go. It's like, it should be like right there on the screen. Uh, you can grab it. There's no opt-in. Just download that if you, if you sell anything. Print it out. Uh, file it away in a drawer or something like that. Bring it out when you need to. Actually, you want to do like a just a, a 60 second overview. Can we try that? I don't think I've ever said 60 second overview and actually delivered on that, by the way, but we'll, we'll try. <laughs> I'll see how it goes. So phase zero is creating a product. Phase one is doing the homework so you can sell effectively. That would be defining your avatar and who they want to be. What is their aspirational identity? For Podcourse, it's an influencer an influencer on multiple platforms, growing their business, growing their revenue. It's not just a podcaster. It's more than that. Their aspirational identity. What's the happy ending? A sustainable podcast that doesn't take them too much time, but allows them to re reach a much broader audience and an additional stream of revenue, by the way. Like, what's the happy ending here? Six months from now, you will X, Y, Z. I had that on my sales page, right? Like, imagine, what if... Uh, six months from now, your blog podcast was reaching three times as many people, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what's the monster? What's the problem? What's the challenge? I don't know how to X, Y, Z. I have trouble with X, Y, Z. I don't actually know if I'm good enough to do X, Y, Z. What are the problems? What are the challenges? That sort of stuff. What's the plan to defeat the monster, the bad guy, the enemy? Um, I had this I had brand script still open, my story brand. Join us in Online Impact. We're going to set you up with all your resources. We'll do all that heavy lifting and I will show you exactly where to start next. And then you start, you are, you start, your onboarding has completed. You start growing your business with more confidence since you can bounce ideas off of people, since you can reach out to me, since you can go in the Slack community, since you can hop on live calls, all this other stuff. You will now start growing your business with more confidence and knowledge because you have access to all of my courses and all the trainings and the online impact members only podcast hashtag one mop. Uh, whatever. You get the point, right? Lay out the plan to defeat said monster. Another piece of homework is just to build the value. Assemble all the features. Write everything down. Here's everything that's included. Here is a, if you can, a dollar amount included. Here's how much it is worth. Here's how much this should cost, right? Build the value proposition. Build all the features. List them out. Thank you to Reina for doing all of this work. Look at this. This is comprehensive. Uh, and also pretty good copywriting, by the way. You all can't have her. Uh, she's mine. 
no, just kidding. Y'all should hire her. She's amazing. Um, make your plan as in stay organized. Use my hair table link to just list out all the tasks that you need to write this review post or launch this PDF or whatever it may be. You can see mine here. I also have one for the pod course launch, which is not, that's all. I haven't added to it because we're still a couple of months out. Uh, but the online impact is definitely right in the thick of it right here. Here's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen over the next couple of weeks. These are actually due out like right now that I should be working on. Uh, but the point is to stay organized, make a plan for the sales, for the marketing, for the launch. Actually, Melody said this a lot in our YouTube video. That was one of Melody's big things that she talked about. Um, go back here. All right. And then you just go to the buffet. You get your you get the biggest plate out there, you know, forks, napkins. You go to the buffet. Just try one of everything. Try and eat as much as you can. Try and use as many of these tactics as possible. This is your playbook. You assemble your own playbook, really. This is just your checklist of stuff to choose from. This is your sales buffet. Empathy, showing that you understand how your audience feels. Laying out, is this for you or is it not for you? Online impact is a great fit for you if... You have already been blogging for a few months and you kind of realize how hard it is. Uh, online impact is not for you if you are a super brand new blogger. It's not for you yet. You should not join, etc. This product is for you. This is not for you. Risk reversal, 100% money back guarantee for the first 30 days, period. Just no questions asked. Shoot me an email. I will give you 100% of your money back. There's no risk for you for 30 days. Zero risk. Risk reversal. Uh, grabbing people's attention and or keeping people engaged, like I mentioned down here. You can pretty much just like start talking about the the copy blocks, the story brand building blocks, the future imagery, what people's life is going to look like after the sale, the different challenges and pain points and frustrations, the desires, stuff they want, the happy ending, uh, like I said, up above. And also just being like a little idealistic. Get philosophical on people. I can't, what was my thing? down here. Oh yeah. It shouldn't have to be this way. We believe you shouldn't have to ride this roller coaster alone. We believe that it's unfair. Get philosophical, uh, social proof testimonials, wins results from clients, from former customers, from everybody, the price. Don't forget to tell people and be clear about how much it costs upfront. I just uh, closed out of my PDF on accident. There you go. Co the price, uh, is your stuff clear? <laughs> this is like a check often thing. Go back and ask yourself, is this clear enough? Uh, the example I gave was the very top. I said biz instead of business. I think most people will probably get what biz means, but why would I even take that chance? I'm going to change that to business. Get the skills, strategies, and support you need to build the business you want. I could even just say business, not even online business, just to make it much more clear and short and simple. Is your stuff clear? Passion. The more passionate you are, the more you believe in your product and you can actually showcase that, uh, the better. Another great way to showcase your passion is just to tell your story. If you've seen success with this thing that you were teaching or that you were selling, you tell that story, people will see passion in there. They will believe you when you say online impact is easily worth $1,000 a year. If you do what we say and you show up and you engage and you watch the videos and you listen to the replays or you take the courses or whatever, right? It is worth it. When people hear me say that like that, they believe me. If people heard me and I sounded like a used car salesman, people wouldn't believe me. That wouldn't be very passionate. Urgency again, the, uh, the discount, the limited time offers the limited time discounts. That's all like really simple urgency stuff. I don't think I need to talk about that more. Uh, unexpected stuff you can do. I talked about how I love to use big, bold fonts and big, bold colors. If you can't tell already and hand drawn graphics and a little bit of comedy, like gifts and otherwise, like that's, that's a little bit different. Um, or at least it was a couple of years ago when I started now, more and more people are starting to do that sort of stuff. But in general, keep people engaged. You can do unexpected stuff, tie in bonuses like Amy Porterfield. She has like one or two actual features in her product. And there was like lots of other bonuses that she tacked on there. That's good marketing as well. Uh, am I going hundred percent? Another great question to kind of follow up with yourself. Like, am I, am I giving it my all? Is there something I'm holding back on? Why am I holding back? Am I afraid it's cause I might actually see success. Am I afraid because that means more work for me? Am I afraid, uh, because 
don't know. Am I looking for an excuse if it does fail? Like if I launch this product and it's crickets, no one buys it. Like I can make an excuse. Well, I didn't do this and I didn't do this. I'm, I didn't go hundred uh, percent. Are you going a hundred percent? You need to be going hundred percent. I've been told that uh, strong and direct calls to action. Make it very clear what people should click on, what they should do in order to engage with your products. Tr click here to try Podia for three free 30 days, <laughs> whatever. Join on that impact. Join now. Join now. Join now. You can't get away from this button. Join now. Oh, uh, exactly what happens next. The plan. Here's what's going to happen. You click buy now. You pay me money. You'll get an automated email hooking you up and welcoming you. I'm going to send you a welcome Bonjoro video on my phone. Me to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to send you a welcome video. I'm going to get you plugged into the community. And then you're going to have access to everything right there. You show up on the live call. There's your plan. That's exactly what's going to happen when you join Online Impact. Uh, questions? Hit reply. Drop me a comment in the YouTube comments. You see what I did there? Uh, give people the opportunity to ask questions. Don't make people hesitate whatsoever. Just be like, I'm right here. I'm sitting at my computer waiting on you to ask questions about online impact because I believe it can help you. But if you have any doubts, voice them. I'll be completely honest. How do I join now? Felicia says, you can't. You got to wait till April 13. Um, questions. Ask or, or not ask. Give people the ability to ask. There you go. Yeah, but what's the cost? Remember that? What's the cost of not doing business with you? What's the cost of not joining online impact this April? of waiting till October. What opportunities will people miss out on? For not buying PodCourse when it launches June 1, there could be some pretty great costs right there. If you put off starting a podcast for another six months to another year, that's gonna be that much more competition. It's growing like crazy, like wildfire right now. Uh, the cost of not joining PodCourse is you try to loan, you spend lots of time and effort trying to figure out how to podcast when you could have just paid me like 197 and I'll just walk you through it step by step. Done. Boom. You, you now know everything. You know you can do it. I've taught you everything I know. Go. But if you don't buy, then you, you figure it out on your own. Happy Googling. That may have been too aggressive, but that's the truth. That's the cost of not doing business with me. Uh, and then your story. And telling your story can actually knock out a bunch of these things. Um, and there you go. Hey, uh, do you guys remember just a second ago when I was like, you guys want a one minute, a 60 second overview? You remember when I said that? That was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Anyways, oh, uh, thank you guys so much for hopping on the live call. I appreciate you. Again, uh, somewhere in this chat is my Airtable link. I don't actually get cash, by the way, uh, but I still, if you if you plan on using Airtable or you want to try it out, it's free. Just go sign up for Airtable and give me some Airtable credit so Raina and I can bump up uh, to the, <laughs> the Airtable Pro plan. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the bit.ly thing is right there. You can go check out that stuff. And uh, I appreciate you. If you want to drop me, I'll, I'll stay on for one more minute, 60 more seconds. Drop me an emoji. One last emoji, emojipedia.org. Uh, I want to see one, somebody. There are like 10 people left on this call. Drop me an emoji right now. Go. I'll wait like one minute, 60 seconds. Ooh, we soda. I don't drink a whole lot of soda, but today felt right. It felt good. All right. Uh, the delay, I hate stream delays. I say something, I like drop me an emoji and I have to wait like two minutes to see any. Anyways, all right, Felicia, thank you. Felicia, thanks for hanging out. Raina, if you're still here, uh, you're awesome. Melody, if you're here, uh, Ren, thank you guys for coming on. <laughs> Sorry, Felicia, I am mean, by the way. I want to join now. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. I will catch you guys next time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, I guess, if you're watching this on the replay or hell right now. And I love you guys. We'll see you next time, Blog Tribe. Adios.